Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last month in May, Microsoft started rolling out the Moment 3 update for Windows 11 version 22H2, which brings the third wave of new features to the operating system. And the update is KB5026446, which first started rolling out on the 24th, 25th of May, depending on your region. Now, the update is a major update, bringing numerous new features, as I did post on, to the operating system. And I'll leave a link to that video down below if you would be interested. Now, just to let you know and keep you updated, um, no pun intended, that unfortunately, once again, um, the Moment 3, like most updates that do roll out, is causing issues. And this is not good because the main complaint, um, according to reports online, is that the update is automatically installing itself without uh, manually checking for the update. And as many of you know, um, the updates that roll out near the end of every month um, and also feature updates are optional and sh should only appear at first on your Windows update page after you have seeked and checked for updates or in other cases um, appear in the advanced options on the optional updates page as an optional update. So because it's optional, you have the choice then to install the update or not. So obviously, if an optional update is automatically installing itself, that's not a good thing and obviously is a bit of a cause for concern. Now, um, I have actually seen one or two comments on this channel um, um, when the update uh, did roll out at first that some users and viewers were saying that the update was automatically installing. And... Um, these reports now that I have um, just been reviewing online, uh, just to give you an update in this video, are also now confirming the exact same thing. Now, at this stage, um, the Moment 3 update is an optional update, but it will become a compulsory mandatory update for Windows 11 version 22H2 next week. And next week, Tuesday, the 13th of June, is our Patch Tuesday, which means it will be included in the Patch Tuesday compulsory mandatory security cumulative update rolling out next week starting the 13th of June 2023 but currently it is still an optional update now um over and above these um uh, the update automatically installing and um, there are some other problems that are being reported on and I can actually confirm one of these and one of the problems um, that the update is calling in causing in some cases is that it's causing components and features um of Windows 11 to become unresponsive and freeze. And I have actually noticed this with my widget board, where after installing Moment 3, um, sometimes it can freeze, my widget board can freeze from 30 seconds to a minute and it becomes unresponsive and then suddenly rectifies itself. And that wasn't the case before installing the Moment 3 update. So that obviously is a Moment 3 specific issue. So I can confirm that one. And then there are um, one or two reports that um, Windows 11 is going into sleep mode after the update has been installed. Now, the update is optional, so you can uninstall the update. So if the negatives are outweighing the positives and you are experiencing issues after installing Moment 3, um, you can uninstall the update until um, hopefully Microsoft does roll out a fix sooner than later. And un to uninstall an update from Windows 11, you head to your update history page and you scroll down, you click on uninstall updates, and here is the update, KB5026446. You click on uninstall, you follow the prompts, you'll have to restart your device, and that will then complete the uninstallation process. But nonetheless, just keeping you posted um, that the update 5026446 is causing those issues. And at this stage, Microsoft hasn't officially confirmed uh, any issues with Moment 3, but hopefully um, those issues will be resolved by the next update we get rolling out next week for Patch Tuesday, but I will keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.